Hello and welcome back to CFD with Carl. Um, I've been looking at uh, openforum.org's version of the development of openforum, so openforum-dev, and looked at the changes to the Lagrangian. Um, and I just wanted to make this quick video showing you the difference between the two models that they introduced or that can be used. Um, so the one is the colliding cloud which is this one on the left and then the MPPIC model which is here on the right. I will play the, the time steps in a second. I just wanted to go through some of the files. Um, so with the I run on the new dense particle foam solver and then in the cloud properties you specify what type of cloud it is though. So the one is a colliding cloud. Um, you need more detail because it solves more particle-particle um, -particle interactions. And then you've got an MPPIC cloud which doesn't need as much detail because the way that it solves is different to the colliding one. So because the MPIC MPPIC one is um, a simpler model, it solves a lot quicker. So they also need a, you can have a larger time step for your um, solver, while your colliding cloud has a factor of 10 smaller time step compared to the MPPIC solver or cloud. And then the MPI PIC tutorial took 827 seconds to solve on my computer and uh, you can see uh, the colliding cloud was already on th um, 13,795 seconds and it hadn't even solved one second. So it took a, a, a couple of days to actually solve the tutorial. Um, with the two it's basically the same, it's just the Basically, the cloud is different. So I'll play it now, and then you basically can see this is the more detailed one, and this is the MPIC one. So then you can look at it and decide which model then for your cloud you want to use in your simulation if you use it. So the boundary conditions are the same inlet with the air, um, pressure the same, starting positions of all the particles is the same. It's just the interaction between the the particles are solved differently. Saved on the same time position. So yeah, and that's it. So now you can see which one you want to use in your simulation. So you can have a more detailed one if you choose, but it's going to take it a lot longer or similar detail, but a lot quicker. So maybe you must consider using this one to test out your your design or your CFD simulation first and to make sure everything is working and then you move over to the colliding cloud if you need a bit more detail in your simulation on your particle interaction and your particle cloud. Thanks and uh, thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe and hope to see you soon in the next video. Bye bye.